Hey guys, it's Caleb here. Welcome to this video. So this is going to be my first uh, my first skilling vlog, which is going to be a series that I think is going to be a consistent series throughout the whole life of my channel. And basically what these videos are going to be is just showing some levels that I've gained, talking about, you know, what I've been doing in RuneScape, whatever else I feel like talking about, and just talking about my goals, my progress, all that type of stuff, the standard skilling vlog stuff. It's not a original idea, but it's something that pretty much everyone finds interesting. So right now I'm just doing some cooking. Um, I'm cooking fish that I catch uh, fishing here in Shiloh Village and I use them for blackjacking because salmon is the best food to use for blackjacking. So I'm going to flash up some clips on screen of me getting a few different levels. I've got 67 fishing. I've got a bunch of different thieving levels. I missed a few of the recordings but um, I got 75, 76, 77, 78, all the way up to 80, which is really awesome. Um, and what I want to do in, in this uh, scaling vlog is talk a bit about fishing, which is what I'm working on right now. Not a, a ton, but I've, I've just been fishing a little bit while AFKing, making videos and everything. And i um, got a beautiful strange plant here. So I'm going to get out my fishing stuff and I'm about to get a pretty cool level that I've been looking forward to. So uh, let's get some feathers. And yeah guys, so this is basically number one I fucking hate it when this happens when <laughs> when there's hardly any uh, fishing spots. It's the worst when you have to run all the way around this river. There's one. So this series is um, I think it's going to be awesome. I mean, I'm really pumped. I think that it's going to be a place where I can just sort of... I mean, if if any of you guys are familiar with my RuneScape blog, um, I post... That's basically what my RuneScape blog is, is just um, I, logging my progress for the most part. I post mostly level ups and just different things that I achieve. And it's really... Like, I love the Tumblr community, and it's really awesome to have so many followers. And it's also just really awesome to look back in my archive and see when I've done whatever I've done. It's really useful for me. So yeah, I'm really close to my fishing level, which you probably guessed is level 68, and then I'm going to head to the fishing guild and just check it out there. I haven't been in the fishing guild in absolutely ages, so I'm going to probably fish some lobsters, even though they're, I don't think I'll do lobsters to level 99, but um, it's just sort of fun. The fishing guild is a cool place, I don't know why. I just like it there. <laughs> Shiloh's pretty chill too though, especially on level 3. And Oh yeah, one big thing I'd like to say in this video is a huge shout out and thanks to X Hipsters. He actually um, he gave me a shout out in his last video, which is really cool. I didn't even ask for it and he's a really chill guy. And um, I'm sure most of you guys already know who he is, but I, I'm, I'll link his channel in the description and everything. And it's just awesome. I've gained like a bunch of followers today like relative to my my follower count so that's I mean subscriber not follower I used to, oh that's 68 fishing so now enter the fishing guild so I'm gonna head over there and see what it's like I don't think I ever actually went there on my main account actually no that's a lie I went there for doing clues that's actually the reason that I got fishing up at all on my main account was just to do clues so let's grab a uh, where's my lobster pot there they are. Why are they way down there? Should be up with my tools. Okay, Camelot teleport. Let's head over there. <coughs> and yeah, I'll talk a little bit about quests actually. I haven't done a lot of quests on this account, but I have done uh the feud obviously for um blackjacking, which is what I've been doing a ton of lately. And I've started a clearance little helper, I haven't finished that one yet. I haven't really started it, I just started it enough to be able to uh, get to soften him because I ran out of charges on my scepter once. And if you guys are wondering, you can teleport to soften him with a scepter without even starting the quest, but if your scepter runs out of charges, you can't get into soften him until you start it. Um, John General Potions and just... And one small favor is the big one that I've done. It really isn't that hard on this game because there are... I mean, for the, the rock golem that you fight over here, in this cave, it's basically just luck. You, the best weapon to use is a Karambon poison uh, iron spear, 
or just a super poison. I think they're the same effect. All oh, these talks look so cool. But uh, basically, what you do with that one is the the monster disappears after a certain point, so you have to kill it in a certain time limit. So basically, you just um, hit it a few times, like I hit it like ten or fifteen times, and then if you don't poison it in that time, you probably won't be able to kill it if you poison it afterwards. So you just log out and it disappears and log back in and start the fight over again and you just keep doing that until you get it poisoned fairly quickly and I think it took me like five or ten tries before I got it but I mean it's it's totally doable and then for the dwarves it's really easy to do those like they hadn't updated it in this version of the game to what it is in uh, like more recent versions of the game so what you can do with that quest is just uh, once you get the once you talk to the dwarf like bo mob boss guy, you just run away, and then all the the dwarfs will go unaggressive, and then you just run back and attack them one by one, and you can just knock them out one by one. That's really it's the same as like any other quest boss, and that's basically the food quest. And you get 20k Slayer XP, so that quest is really epic. It got me from like 38 all the way to 44, so it's like almost double my XP. So yeah guys, um, just doing some fishing. I, I am going for 99 thieving mostly, and I'm doing the Menophyte thugs obviously, and they're really crazy XP, so I'm going to be blasting through the levels on thieving when I have more time to play. Probably tomorrow I'll be like 85 or so. It's, it's really fast, I mean it's over 200k an hour. Um, oh yeah, and for the feud quest, there is a boss you have to kill in the feud. And that's the quest you have to do to do blackjacking. But you basically have to get partway through one small favor to be able to do the feud. Because you need Guthix Rest potions. Actually, I can, I can show you those in the bank. They're actually Guthix Rest Tea. But they're basically potions. And they're sort of similar to uh, Cerebrews. These things right here. And what they do is they boost your hit points 5 above what your level can be. And they restore 5 health. And they have 4 doses. So you can, they're like 20 HP per inventory spot and they can boost your hit points up to 15. So you can sustain up to 14 damage. And that's how you are able to survive in one small favor because the rock golem thing actually hits you for up to 13. He's a fucking bitch. And then in the feud the boss can hit you up to 10 so you have to use those or else you can get one hit. But it's totally possible once you've Get, like you don't actually have to fight any of this, the bosses in one small favor to be able to make the Guthix Rest potions. You just have to get to the point where you bring the Guthix Rest to the gnome up on top of the White Wolf Mountain. And then you can make them and drink them. And I think you only need like 19 Herb Lore to make them. And it, it takes, uh, I think it's 2 Groms, a Marantil, and a Hairlander or something like that. And those are really, really good for questing on level 3s. I might make a video uh, doing Ithrin's Little Helper. It sounds like it's kind of a bitch, but with uh, with Guthix Rest Potions I think it'll be a lot easier. Because I guess the boss can hit really hard. But, um... Let's see what else. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I've been doing a lot of cooking just for... Um, cooking the salmon for blackjacking because so far I haven't actually like bought any salmon. I've just fished at uh, Shiloh and AFK. And then I cook them, and <laughs> cooking is retardedly fast. It really, like, all the only reason I've cooked at all is just because I've been I needed food. I'm already like level 56. So, anyways, guys, that's about it for this skilling vlog. Thanks a lot for watching, and big shout out to Exip. Uh, he's not on right now, but he's awesome. And uh, thanks for subscribing. And I hope you guys are looking forward to more content coming out for me. I should have, I think, I don't think I'll be able to do daily videos, but I'm probably going to be putting out like three or four videos a week, hopefully. I do, I'm in high school right now, and I work at a restaurant on Friday and Saturday nights. So I'm kind of busy, but I still obviously play RuneScape a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to be making videos as much as I can. As I can. So anyways guys, leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more and thanks a lot for watching.